Steve is Michelle and Ilanika. Hello everybody, my name is Emma Clancy and I am County Librarian and Creative Cavan Coordinator with Cavan County Council. On behalf of myself, the library staff and the members of the cultural sector, I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe. I really enjoyed this creative series of activities presented by Tom, Laurie and Paddy Meskel. In this video, the Meskels will be creating lanterns by reusing aluminium trays. If you have been inspired to create your own lantern over the series of workshops, we would be delighted if you could share photos of your work. Thank you to Cavan Arts Office for commissioning the Lights of Hope videos. And an especially big thank you to Tom, Laurie and Paddy Meskel for encouraging our creativity. We hope you stay well. Talk about it. Hello everybody. It's Tom and Paddy again to make lanterns. Tom and Paddy show. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's good to see you again. So what we're doing today is we're doing lanterns made out of these tin foil dishes. I'm sure they look familiar. There was very, you get apple tarts in them a lot and um, these are new ones though. We got them in a, in a you know, special price shop, uh, you know, one of those bargain shops. So we're going to use, well, Paddy's going to use a pen. This is an old pen. And you just push it down through the tin foil, good and hard, till you get a little hole. And you can check it by looking up to, looking up to the window or up to the um, light in the kitchen to make sure that the light is coming through the hole. And just in this one, Paddy's going to go around the design that's on the plate. And that's a good starting point. Of course, you can do anything you want. So Paddy, will you do that? And I am going to use a knife. So you can make nice designs with a knife doing little slits, but you have to do this with a parent, not with, uh, I don't want kids doing this. So you can just do nice lines like this. Don't make them too long or the dish will begin to come apart. So you just want to do like short little lines. And the combination of the lines and the dots looks really, really good. We're going to put two of these dishes together. Here's one I made earlier. And uh, we, we can hang it up then. So this is kind of the idea. Now, is that easy, Paddy? Yep. Oh, you're doing great. Good job. So the reason why I've given Paddy an old pen is that it's just the safest way of doing it. But if I was to do it myself as an adult, I probably would use the knife because it's just a little bit handier for me. So I've got my designs done. Now I'm going to go around and I'm going to do little holes. Using one hand to guide the blade and the other to push. Always be careful. Yeah, very careful. And take your time. We're going a bit fast because we want to fit it all in. How's that going, Betty? It's going well. Just need to do a uh, few more lines and then I'm done. Great. Four more dots. Yeah. Okay. So you could spend ages doing this and you could like draw out designs on the opposite side and then pick out the designs. Okay, great Paddy. Oh. Now, so we put one dish on top of the other. I'm going to ask you to help me buddy. Do you hold it here? Beautiful LED lights. So I'm going to go around the edge now. I'm just going to hold this. For, thanks, buddy. I'm going to move this here so we can see it on the camera. And the reason I'm doing this is so that we can fold 
we're going to fold these pieces and it will hold it together. So first off, I'm going to put my LED lights inside. Put this on top. And then, if you can see, make sure all your lights are inside. We, we kind of get these tabs together and we just fold them. And then we pinch it together. This is what I was supposed to do my whole life. <laughs> and we keep going right around. It is actually a bit fiddly, so just take your time with it. I'm trying to do it in a hurry, but um, if you take your time with it. Now, you, you can go all the way around to get a really good seal, but if you want it to be in a real hurry, a bit like me now, um, you can just do it like in some strategic places so it all holds together. So I'm going to just do some on the side here. Going all hair on me. <laughs> As in four parts of the hair. Now, I'm nearly there now. I'm just going to do one here. Okay. Now, this should hold it nice there. Be careful when handling scissors. You don't want to cut yourself. And, and also, this tin, when you cut it, it can have sharp edges. So, just take it nice and easy. Mind yourself. And always ask the help of an adult if, if it looks like it's a bit dangerous. <laughs> there we go. So we have this hanging now. And we can hang it up later. So I'm going to, we're just going to have to wait and see what it looks like in the dark. Because it doesn't look like much. It just looks like an old pie dish. But it's going to look totally different in uh, two seconds. Two and one. Hey everybody, we're back in the night time. Paddy's <laughs> operating the camera and the lights. So here we go, here's the pie dish. Still doesn't look that interesting. So you could hang it up, you could have it spinning, you could have it in a tree outside. So now Paddy, hit the lights. Lights out boys. Now you can see, you just have those lovely points of light. You could do all kinds of designs with this, and it looks really nice when it's moving. So we have Laurie here as well. Do you, do you think this is nice, Laurie? It's like magic. <laughs> so it would make a nice night light, actually. So there we go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that. And we'll see you for the next video. Bye. Bye-bye.